DDR1, also called DDR-SD RAM, came out in 2000. It used around 2.5 to 2.6 volts, had 184 pins on desktop DIMMs and 200 pins on laptop SO DIMMs. You could recognize it by the single notch in the center. It ran at speeds from 200 to 400 megahertz, giving up to 3.2 gigabytes per second of bandwidth. It first appeared in PCs with Intel Pentium 4 and AMD Athlon processors. DDR1 sticks usually maxed out at 1 GB each and used a 2N prefetch buffer. It was a big upgrade over SD RAM, but it used more power and feels limited by today's standards. DDR2 launched in 2003, aiming for faster performance and better efficiency. Voltage dropped to 1.8 volts and pin count increased to 240 for desktops and 200 for laptops. The notch also moved slightly off-center. Speeds doubled, ranging from 400 to 1066 megahertz with up to 8.5 gigabytes per second bandwidth. DDR2 used a 4N prefetch buffer and on-die termination to clean signals, supporting up to 4 gigabytes per module. It powered mid-2000 systems like Intel Core 2 Duo and early AMD Phenom builds. More efficient than DDR1, but higher latency sometimes slowed it down. It's now completely obsolete. DDR3 arrived in 2007, running at 1.5 volts or 1.35 volts for low power versions. The pin count stayed at 240, but the notch moved again. Speeds ranged from 800 to 2133 MHz, pushing bandwidth past 17 GB per second. It used an 8N prefetch buffer, flyby topology for cleaner signal paths, and supported up to 16 GB per stick. It first appeared with Intel's early Core i series and AMD's FX chips. DDR3 was about 30% more power efficient than DDR2, but it now feels slow compared to modern memory. Then came DDR4 in 2014, running at just 1.2 volts. Pin count jumped to 288 with a slightly shifted notch compared to DDR3. Speed started at 1600 MHz and went up to 3200 MHz, with overclockers pushing even higher. Bandwidth exceeded 25 gigabits per second. DDR4 added bank groups for parallel processing, CRC error checking, and huge capacities, up to 128 gigabytes per module. It first launched with Intel Skylake processors and later became the standard for Ryzen systems. It was faster, more efficient, and stayed dominant for years. Finally, DDR5 arrived in 2021. It runs at 1.1 volts, still with 288 pins, but the notch moved again to prevent mixing with DDR4. Base speeds start at 4800 MHz and can go beyond 9600 MHz. Bandwidth starts above 38 gigabytes per second and keeps climbing. DDR5 uses a 16N prefetch buffer, dual subchannels for better parallelism, on-die ECC for reliability, and built-in power management chips. Capacities are huge, with server modules reaching up to 512 gigabytes. It first appeared with Intel Alder Lake and AMD Ryzen 7000 processors. DDR5 is made for next-gen gaming, AI tasks, and 4K or 8K content creation, though it's more expensive and can run hotter at high speeds. That's the full journey from DDR1 to DDR5. Lower voltage, smarter design, bigger capacity, and massive bandwidth increases every step of the way. Tap like, hit subscribe, and tell me in the comments which DDR generation your first build used and what you're running now.